So the answer is no, you cannot take by any kind of psychological intervention, or even by religious conversion. I think there's a lot of question about the few published cases in the scientific literature of apparent religious conversion of homosexuality into heterosexuality. Do you think, Dr. Falwell, that, that you're qualified to recognize the difference between, and I'm going to use that term just so that we have easy understanding, the difference between cure and suppression of homosexual tendencies or symptoms? Well, first of all, temptation is not sin. Uh, one who may have a latent uh, uh, innate uh, taste for whatever sin or weakness or vice is not necessarily sinning. Sin is a practice, and it uh, emanates from a, a heart, of course, that uh, needs a relationship with God. A person can have a new lifestyle. He can become uh, a totally different person through a religious conversion called the new birth. Dr. Falwell, uh, Dr. Hooker, I think, is going to have an apoplectic fit. If, if, <laughs> so if will we, Dr. Green uh, if he doesn't get Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do I that. think I am. <laughs> jump, jump, jump on in, Dr. Hooker. Okay. It seems to me that what this does, what his research does, along with some other research uh, and in uh, Holland and in Germany, as a matter of fact, has pointed out, what it does is to give us a beginning point of, um, along with other investigations, a beginning point in the study of what may be, and I underline that, may be the biological determinants of homosexuality. Um, I, I think I state a rather um, um, a point of view which is held by a majority of my fellow scientists in this field by saying that none of us, I think, believe that we have any evidence at present to indicate that homosexuality is produced primarily or only by biological factors or that it is produced only and primarily by environmental factors. But it seems to me, from all we know, the great mass of now, of material that we have about the development of the individual and the sexual development of the individual, that we now know, I think, that it's a very delicate kind of interplay between biological determinants, biological factors which may be involved, and what stage they are involved, we don't know yet and psychological factors or environmental factors. Dr. Hooker, so I, I would I, like very much to underline that. It seems to me... Uh, I, I, uh, I must interrupt you, I'm afraid, because we are in grave danger of, of having totally run out of time. And I want to thank you and Reverend Falwell and Dr. Green uh, for joining us.